before we get to the video, I'm just gonna have this image up for a few seconds. You guys can take a picture of it if you want. It's just gonna summarize all the comps that I'm gonna be showcasing for each game mode uh, for this challenge. And yeah, you guys can use this as a reference later on for when you're playing your own games. With that said, let's move on to Gem Grab. Okay, so the first comp I recommend for double swoosh is Tara, Jean, and Primo. Tara is a really good pick for the left lane since she can hold her own ground, her gadget can help gain a lot of map control, and her super pretty much guarantees you a kill if you can manage to hit it. Jean's just a really good mid right now since he can deal with all types of brawlers from long range ones to tanks since he has that gadget which pushes them away, and his super is game changing if you manage to hit it. For the right lane, we have Primo, he's just really broken right now in the meta since he charges his super insanely fast, so whether he gets hit or not, it's bad news for the enemy team. He could juke really well in that grass and he's super annoying and hard to deal with. The second comp I recommend is Tara, Poco, Primo. The only change here is that instead of Jean as the mid, I have Poco. Poco has better synergy with uh, Primo overall, but since you're using Poco instead of Jean, you're going to have a harder time dealing with tanks, so I don't know if it's worth it using Poco since it's a lot more safe to use Jean, and if you're facing a heavy tank matchup, it might be better if you use Jean instead of Poco. With that said, let's move on to some assembly required. The comp that I recommend for this game mode is Barley, Ems, and Primo. You're using Primo because he's just an overall great pick for this meta. He's insanely good, and he has a lot of HP, so he's going to become your main bolt collector. For the mid, I chose Barley. He has a lot of area denial. He's good at keeping control of mid, and he can play around walls extremely well. Ems is the other lane that you're going to be using. She's a tank counter, so she's really good at dealing with those tanks such as Primo, Bull, or Rosa. In case they get too close to you, you can always pop that gadget, and since you have three of those, it's going to be theoretically impossible for them to even get near you within the match. She's also really good at keeping area control since she has a long range attack that stays there for quite a while, and she's also pretty solid at dealing with those mid range brawlers. The other comp I recommend for this map is Frank, Primo, and Ems. Instead of one tank, you now have two, but you have one less tank counter. With this comp, you could be a lot more aggressive and you could break those walls. This means that even if you're facing a Rico or a Barley, if you're able to break those walls, they're at a huge disadvantage at, against you. And since you have a lot of HP, you could tank some of their shots to push them back or even kill them if you have the opportunity. Now, let's move on to Split, which is a hot zone map in this challenge. The comp I recommend is Rico, Poco, and Primo. Rico is going to be on the right side. He's super good at bouncing his shots there. The only problem with him is that you have to make sure that you win the first interaction to maintain control. On the left side, we have Poco and Primo. It's basically like a bum rush strat, but since there's so much healing and so much HP from Primo, you can almost guarantee that you're gonna um, just outpower whoever's defending that side. And yeah, that's pretty simple, and that's pretty much it for the strat. When Primo has a super, he could sometimes break the wall in the middle to just connect the areas in case you need help on the um, Rico lane. And yeah, the other comp I recommend is Primo, Poco, Frank. With Frank, he could be a little bit more aggressive, and since he's a lot tankier than Rico, he could absorb more hits and he's more likely to stay in the zone for longer. With that said, let's move on to Hot Potato, which is the heist map of this challenge. The best comp for this map is Rico, Ems, and Primo. Rico is just a really good tank counter right now and he's the best mid overall on this map since you can deal with all types of brawlers and since your shots um, bounce on walls, you can hit around those corners. Ems is the tank killer of this comp, so you want to be mirroring whichever lane the opponent tank is going. For example, if the other team has a bull and the bull is going on the left lane, you want to also go on the left lane so that you're able to counter the bull. Primo is the main damage dealer of this comp as well as Rico, and his job is to just get a super and go straight to the safe. He's always going to require an answer, so you always can just rush to the safe and someone's always going to be there on defense. He's super annoying to deal with since if he gets hit, he charges a super, so it's always going to be um, constant pressure for the opponent team to deal with. You can also use Rico Primo Bull on this map, which is just a more aggressive and more fast-paced comp rather than having an M for the tank counter. Let's move to Canal Grande, which is the final map in this challenge. Previously on this map, control brawlers have been used such as Tick, Mr. P, and Sprout, but since tanks have become a lot more meta, it's less likely that you're going to face this type of comp since tanks just counter control brawlers in general. The first comp I recommend is Primo, Rosa, Poco. It's Poco double tank, pretty self-explanatory. Um, Poco is just going to have a lot of value in general, healing up those tanks, making sure that they don't die, and the tanks are just going to do work. Just make sure that you're being um, aware of the stars and bounty, keeping track, and coordinating with your team. 
The second comp I recommend is Primo Byron Poco. So this is a uh, tank double healer, and Poco is just uh, probably the best healer right now in the game. So as long as you're making sure that you're keeping the Primo alive, he can just 1v1 those tanks or 1v2 them as long as he's getting those heals. And if you're able to stack the lane and just overpower the other team with just um, incredible value with your healing, you should be able to win. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on how to win the championship challenge in Brawl Stars. I really hope that this video was helpful and informative to you guys and that you guys can use this video to help win the challenge yourselves. With that said, have a great day. Enjoy Brawl Stars. See ya.